Sub-zero temperatures apparently draining Tesla's electric car batteries faster, frustrating drivers who find themselves in long lines. And WGN's Dana Revick spoke to some of them and got some tips from an expert. At the Tesla supercharging station in Skokie, one driver grateful to finally be here. I saw that my battery's getting low. It was about 20, 25%. I went out to the, uh, uh, the gas station that was there. I saw that there was a long line. West France then drove to the fashion outlet station in Rosemont, but it wasn't in service. And by that time, my battery drained down to 5%, which was faster than normal. Long story short, here I am. We had to tow it out this way. The sub-zero temperatures taking a toll on the electric batteries. This Uber driver frustrated. Last year I had through in the winter. I never um, faced this um, last year, but this year it's horrible. At the charging station in Rolling Meadows, several cars had to be towed last night because the batteries died while drivers were waiting in line to charge up. A lot of the cables get frozen and they left them on the ground, so ice forms in them. And then you can't plug it in because it's got like a male and a female. So a lot of those were on the ground, but it was really busy. Richard's body shop on Lawrence is a certified Tesla service center. The owner was also at the Rolling Meadows location charging his Tesla last night. The owner has some tips for EV drivers. The best way to do is to tell your car and the navigation that you're going to charge and it preconditions the battery to accept the charge faster. So I went from like 30% to 80% in 40 minutes. He also suggests charging up before your battery gets below 30%. Drivers dealing with the headache. The handles are freezing too and, and uh, my app won't open the uh, car. Hoping the company can do something to improve battery life in brutally cold weather. I think it's a matter of time. But it's something you think they have to work on. Oh, they definitely got to work on it because I'm out of this test lap to today. I'm not going to ride it again. You'd rather go back to gas. I'd rather go back to gas. Absolutely. We reached out to Tesla for comment, but so far no one from the company has responded. According to the Illinois Secretary of State's office, back in 2018, there were only about 12,000 people in Illinois who owned electric vehicles. Now this year, that number has skyrocketed to more than 91,000, so a lot of people dealing with these headaches. In Skokie, Dana Rebic, WGN News.